Ah, all right, I'm gonna try and kick a bunch of water out. Yeah. All right, what's up YouTube? How you guys doing today? So, I've got a pretty cool project for you guys, you know, as always. So I kind of hinted at this in a previous video, um, or at least I mentioned it anyway, that a company sent to me, I think they're called Blue Robotics, some really cool underwater EDF, like jet engine type things. Um, underwater thrusters, I guess you could call it. Uh, so basically what they do is they thrust underwater. So naturally, um, when I got these, I was like, hmm, how could I attach these to my body to allow me to do something that I could normally never do? So yeah, that's what this project's gonna be based on. We're gonna figure out how to mount these propellers to my body um, so I can swim a lot faster than I normally could. Yeah, Aquaman, I'm coming for you. Let's go! I could, I could probably race a shark, right? Like Michael Phelps did it, you know? The, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, all right, late, later on. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. I haven't even made it yet. So I did a little research online and I actually found another guy who made something similar. So I'll leave a link to in the description. I think his name's Peter Stripel. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, he makes a bunch of cool inventions too. Super high quality build. Give that video a watch if you're interested. One more thing that I do want to say, um, this probably doesn't apply to like 99% of you, but for the 1% who did order my t-shirts, I did kind of like a promotional thing with that where I said I would also send like web shooters out to the first couple people who ordered. Yeah, so the shirt sales just closed recently, but pretty much the premise was because I can't actually get your address from the company that's doing the shirts uh, because it's a breach of privacy. I pretty much just said, take a picture of you in the shirt when you get it these shirts, by the way. Uh, I would say link in description, but you can't. Just subscribe instead, like this video. Follow me on Instagram for yeah, giveaways and whatever. Anyway, take a picture in the shirt, tag, tag me in it on Instagram. Then I'd send you some web shooters that way through like DM, contact. But I've already got a bunch of responses of pictures of people in my shirts when none of them have been shipped out yet. Like I talked to the guy who runs the company, I was like, there's no way these shirts can be out yet. It leaves me kind of like a tough position because clearly these shirts are photoshopped. Yeah, you know, I, I respect it, like I would do similar stuff too. But obviously they're like, now I'm in a tough position because how am I gonna know what's real shirts, what's photoshopped, like I forgot about this, like kind of annoys me now that I'm like, I should have seen this coming. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, to be honest, like did order the shirt, like just specifically for the web shooter, I'm really sorry because but at least if you did order the shirt, then you're gonna get that. Like, I really don't feel comfortable like asking the guys for addresses, um, like fact checking. It's just a ton of work for me. Like I'm literally just one person running the whole channel. It's a teenager in a basement, you know, talking to a camera at like 11 o'clock at night. Anyways, you guys came for the build. So I'm gonna film the best I can and show you guys how I make this thing. Let's do it.
Ooh, there we go. Oop, there we go, guys. We got them made. Check these things out. Um, there's also a piece on my belt that I'll show you guys in a minute. So sorry if some of that building process was unclear, but as with all my builds, I, it's a lot of trial and error. It's tough to like sift through what worked and what didn't and try and piece it together. It's really just a process with these more advanced builds that I've never like tried myself. So learning experience for me, but let me explain to you a little bit about how these work. Uh, so hopefully you can get a better idea if you wanna try this yourself. Drop it down. All right, let me just turn this around. I'll stand back a little bit actually. Boy. Ah, using so many wires. All right, that's good enough. It's like a fanny pack. All right, so this is what uh, the system looks like. Normally this would be like on my back or like chest or whatever. I haven't figured out the position yet. Here's our remote made from a Tic Tac box. Pretty freaking sweet. There's a button in here. Uh, so basically when you just press anywhere on the box, the jets go on. Oh yeah. Double tap, double tap to turn it off. I think these are Blue Robotics like T1 something. T200, I don't know what they are exactly, but but I think they're the most powerful ones they sell. Um, yeah, we got two of them on the wrist. Hell yeah. Let me walk you through what's actually like inside here, um, how it all kind of connects together. I got all the pieces here. Obviously, we got these two jets right here uh, with wrist wraps, pretty much just some plastic uh, that the jets are bolted onto with some straps that go around and hook onto my arms, some Velcro. Uh, pretty simple, pretty effective, or at least I hope. Got two of them, same on each side, uh, and that just leads down with these wires to this uh, watertight box that I got. Um, so these cables just go right inside here. Um, if we go ahead and open this up, oh yeah, and you can see there's just a belt through like, these loops that uh, conveniently were there, so this can kind of strap onto your body. You can see we've got everything neatly arranged inside here, um, so two lipos. Uh, I think 6S, 22 volts each that power these. So then these batteries run into these two ESCs. We've got one right here, got the other ESC right here. I think they're like 60 amps. Uh, so it should be enough to handle what we're throwing in. There's three wires that come out of these and the ESCs plug directly into these and supply them power. And then there's another cable that come off of ESCs and that goes to the actual controller where this piece comes in handy. So this is pretty much just like a servo test rigged to uh, turn on and off with a push of a button. This is actually what sends the signal down to the two ESCs um, to tell the jets what to do. So this cable runs under here through this giant thick overkill. Guys, this is just a prototype, like give me some slack. Into the bottom right here, and you can see it's these uh, red, white, and black cables down in there. So these batteries can just come on out. Actually, if I ever wanna charge them, just kinda unplug, just like that. Got one of them, you got the other one. So that's pretty much uh, how this thing works, just two ESCs. Two LiPo batteries and circuit board to control them both. And of course, our two jets that strap onto our hand. Once again, big shout out to Blue Robotic for sending me these. I'll leave links to them down in the description. Planning on doing more projects with these as well. This is kind of just a starting point. In fact, I'll leave links to everything I use down in the description, like this waterproof box. Um, that's actually gonna be the big thing to see if it's still waterproof. Like I tested it before, but you kind of gotta go all or nothing. So yeah, we'll go do that. All right guys, so I got them on. Uh, we're gonna go give them a little test. I've got a tub of water over here. If you can see, got the batteries right here. Um, so we're just gonna do a quick test just to test like kind of the propulsion, I guess, functionality, make sure it's actually watertight before we actually dive in with the real test. Not dive in, get it, uh, swim, it's funny. All right, let's just test this out real quick. Oh. Yep, that works. Uh, yep, it works. Ah! I'm definitely feeling quite a bit of thrust. That's so cool. Ah! Definitely gonna work. I just need to really make sure everything's waterproof. All right, let's try the other one. We'll give you guys a better angle. We've got the remote. I'm pretty sure it's leaking, so I gotta fix that before. The propellers work great. Just put them in the water, press the button. Ah! Let's go. Holy fuck. All right, I'm gonna try and kick a bunch of water out. Yep. Yeah. All right, it works. Back to you, Jake. All right, guys, well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to test it right now, because I'm actually about to leave for LA. Um, this video has to go out, kind of down to the wire. I don't wanna leave you guys without any content. Plus, I've been planning and packing and whatnot, but I'm going to bring these 
to LA and test them there. It's gonna be a fun time, plus we'll bring a bunch of other stuff. Definitely make sure you're subscribed to be notified when I upload that video. It's gonna be freaking sweet. Ah, so excited. Hopefully you did like the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Once again, sorry about the whole shirt confusion. Follow me on Instagram for updates, usually before the videos come out, because obviously it takes time to edit with Instagram. You can just throw like a story up or a picture. That's it for this video, guys. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.